Hi, I would like to talk a little bit about energetical parasites. As you may know, in nature it's very common for animals to have physical parasites, lice, fleas, worms, things like that. And until quite recently this was also normal for humans, but we invented DDT and other things to get rid of our parasites. And while we may have gotten rid of a lot of our physical parasites, we haven't been able to rid ourselves of energetical parasites, actually far from it. We are actually getting uh, less resistance against these energetical parasites. So just like um, a physical parasite, an energetical parasite is usually quite small, uh, quite weak, uh, very primitive compared to us. Um, and just like these other small parasites, they can't really overpower us. They are too small and too weak and too simple and stupid for that. But if we don't know they are there because we are sleeping, for instance, then they can just yeah, come up and uh, feed on us. And it's the same with these energetical parasites. So if we have a very um, healthy environment, a very healthy energetical immune system, then we will have very few of these energetical parasites because they will have to fight with our immune system. We will compete with them for our, our energy and it will be very hard for them to yeah, survive of us. But when one of us is relatively weak, uh, then it's very easy for them to feed on us. And if we're already weak and we also have parasites, it is a lot more difficult to regain our health. So these energetical parasites we find mainly with people who are uh, weakened by, for instance, uh, uh, physical illness, um, who might be experiencing uh, psychological problems or um, have a psychological illness. Uh, people who are uh, suffering from burnout um, or depression, for instance. Uh, people who have a drug habit. So all these people have a kind of a reduced immune system uh, versus these energetical parasites. One of the reasons why there is uh, a relative explosion in the amount of energetical parasites um, is that we started living in cities. So there tends to be a lot of energy available for such parasites. So the places, some places can literally be swarming with these uh, yeah, small entities. Another problem is that our general energetic health and resistance has gone down. So we are also a lot more vulnerable to these parasites. So there's more of them and we're more vulnerable, which can create problems for people. To understand a little bit more of how uh, it works, every parasite is a rather primitive creature. It cannot really um, digest energies or food like we do. We can feed ourselves with fruit, which has a very high energy. Uh, we can also feed ourselves with dairy products or meat, which have much lower energies. And most energetical parasites, they feed very exclusively on one specific low energy. So they might be feeding on anger, they might be feeding on fear, they might be feeding on doubt, they might be feeding on hatred. Um, so these very low vibrations are food to them. And the more food we create, the more energy we create, the stronger these parasites will become. So we're in a way in competition with these parasites, one. In a way, if we have a lot of these energies, they will feel attracted to us because they will see us as a food source. And two, it is about um, control. So if I have a very good grip on my own anger and I use up all my anger myself, then there's nothing left for the parasite to feed upon. But many people have the habit of repressing these negative energies. So they 
don't want to feel anger, they don't want to feel depressed, they don't want to feel afraid and because they're trying to push it away or in a way withdraw their consciousness from uh, that part of themselves so they're in a way turning a blind eye to themselves that gives free range to these parasites and what these parasites do it's not just to take away this energy, because then we would actually feel a lot better, um, but they actually stimulate us to create more of this energy. So, for instance, if there's a being which feeds on anger, if it takes away all my anger, that's possible, but then it would have to find a new host. And in the meanwhile, it might starve. But if it can get me to become angry all the time, or regularly, like twice a week, and it can very easily yeah, stay with me and get its regular meal. And often the techniques people are using, they think they're successful because like they feel um, maybe attacked or they feel there are some strange spirits or entities in the house. And they get very angry, get out of my house, this is my place. And then they're left alone and they think they're being very successful. And basically what happens is that these parasites are sated, they've absorbed all the anger they can, so they're not showing themselves until yeah, a week later maybe, and then the person will have another outburst uh, to feed the parasites and thus the pattern will repeat itself. So we talked a little bit of the bad sides of these parasites, how they're in a way um, keeping us in these yeah, low vibrations by stimulating our anger or influencing our thoughts, our memories, uh, our emotions so that we will generate the energy they want us to generate. Um, but they're also helping us because the parts we cannot really control within ourselves um, the parts which we are in denial about, they are bringing to the forefront. So they are in a way forcing us, they are manifesting our hidden side, our hidden weaknesses, our hidden feelings. So in this way they are actually helping us grow. And you can of course fight the parasite, but ultimately if you would yeah, grow yourself, you can outgrow the parasite because you would no longer have a need to hide from your own fear or from your own anger or from your own sadness. And if you can accept the messages and the use of all these different emotions and you learn how to work with them, to use them in your benefit, then also the parasites will have nothing to feed on and it will be quite nice. But to be completely parasite free is quite difficult like of course if you're enlightened or close to enlightened then you can be parasite free but for most of us it is quite a challenge um, so it can be good not only to work on growth but also to um, have some anti-parasitic met uh, methods so that we are not um, hurt too much by them because a little bit can help us to uh, confront our own dark side too much then we get stuck into a very negative spiral or a very negative circle which is very hard to break free from. So in the next videos I will give some tips on what we can do regarding to uh, lifestyle and some practices to get rid of these parasites and also um, um, energetic exercise and meditation which can help you to get rid of these little buggers.